Hi, I'm George Chachrian, co-founder and senior vice president at Reasoning Mind. Reasoning Mind is a nonprofit that develops online programs for, for schools, teachers, and children in mathematics. So we make software, but we don't just make the software and drop it into schools. It's really a whole systems approach, because if you look at mathematics education, it's interconnected. Student engagement, curriculum, what teachers do, all of these things are related, and so we need to do all of these things. So we provide a strong curriculum, the software, as well as training and in-person support for teachers to help them make the most of that in their classrooms. The way math is taught to most students, it's about mindlessly memorizing things without actually understanding them. And math, when it's taught correctly, it's, it's the opposite. It's about understanding the reasons for things so that you don't have to memorize them. And when it's done that way, math is a very beautiful thing. And it's something that students don't have to suffer through. It's something they actually can enjoy. And they can enjoy this power of thinking, this power of understanding. And I think that what we lack, unfortunately, and what I think we need to provide for our students is a curriculum that helps them achieve that and that helps teachers show the side of mathematics to students. In a traditional math classroom, what the teacher does is deliver essentially a lecture. Um, the, the instruction that the kids get in the class is more or less the same for every child. And so as the teacher, you have to deliver the same lecture over and over again throughout that day. So you're doing something that's more or less routine and Who's good at doing routine things? Computers. What are people good at doing? People are good at doing non-routine things. And if you're the teacher in that classroom and you have a child who didn't get it, where are you going to find the time to address that child's needs and to really help them? And that's where the problem happens, where you need to free teachers up to where they can do what teachers do best, which is teach kids and find that individual approach. In a reasoning mind classroom, that becomes possible because that routine instruction is delivered through the computer. Kids are sitting at computers and each child is getting their own instruction at the computer and the teacher is walking around the room working with individual kids in small groups to really find the individual approach to each child. One of the first schools to recognize the potential of Reasoning Mind was Cornelius Elementary in Houston ISD. And at Cornelius, third graders and on were using the program, but second graders weren't. And there was a brother and a sister, Darius and Rhea. Darius was in second grade and Rhea was in third grade and second graders didn't have the program, so Darius didn't have it. And they would come to school early because the school opened the computer lab for Rhea to work on the program. And Darius was really excited and wanted to do it, but he couldn't because he was a second grader. And eventually the school came to us and they said, listen, we know second graders aren't supposed to do the program, but we have this kid. And he said, of course, are you kidding? Of course, so, so Darius got an account. And from that point on, he and Rhea started competing with each other and also working together to get through the program. And they just took off because what the program did is, is it took away the limits. They didn't have to just wait for the rest of the class. They had no barriers. Whatever energy they were willing to put into it, that's how much math they would learn. And so by the end of third grade, Darius had completed fifth and sixth grade. And then he went back and he solved all of the highest difficulty level problems. And we're talking some very hard problems. These are like five, six step problems where you have to invent a new idea to get the problem. And, and, and Rhea also did you know, spectacularly well in the program. So um, that illustrates what reasoning mind can do is remove the ceiling. It can remove the barriers. If a child is willing to throw themselves into it, they can go as far as they want to. Reasoning mind is ready to work with every school. It can be made available to every student. We'd like to invite you to join us in making this possible, in helping to bring this program to tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of students who really need it because this program can remove the limits to what they can accomplish. It can help these students realize their full potential.